Boom. This week, Sedra of Sedra's Kitabo. A term many people use to describe someone who's grown up observant of Torah mitzvahs and no longer is, is to call them off the derech, meaning off the path of Torah. What is this path? Earlier in Devarim, we read, Now, Israel, what does the Lord your God demand of you? Only this, to revere the Lord your God, to walk only on his paths, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. What are God's paths that we're supposed to walk on that this passage was referring to? Throughout the beginning of Devarim, we find the warning to stay on the path of the Torah, not to stray or to deviate from the path, repeated multiple times. It is frequently associated with the warning of worshiping other gods. In our Torah portion, we learn, do not deviate to the right or to the left from any of the commandments that I enjoined upon you this day, and turn to the worship of other gods. The, another puzzle we read is, the Lord said to me, hurry, go down from here at once, for the people whom you brought out of Egypt have acted wickedly. They have been quick to stray from the path that I enjoined upon them. They have made themselves a molded image, referring to the golden calf. Another puzzle, take care not to be lured away to serve other gods and bow to them. And yet not one other puzzle, if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn away from the path that I enjoin upon you this day and follow other gods whom you have not experienced. It would seem that the path discussed is staying away from idolatry. The path is also discussed by Rambam when describing the ethical monotheism Avram taught his family. The prophets called God by the titles, slow to anger, abundant in kindness, righteous, just, perfect, almighty, powerful, and the like, to inform us that these are good and just paths. A person is obligated to accustom himself to these paths and to try to resemble God to the extent of his ability. Since the creator is called by these terms and they make up the middle path, which we are obligated to follow, this path is called the path of God. This is the heritage which our patriarch Abraham taught his descendants, as it states in the Torah, for I have known him so that he will command his descendants to keep the path of God. One who follows this path brings benefit and blessing to himself, as the verse continues, so that God will bring about for Avram all that he promised. Curiously, we find a path discussed in Dvarim that relates more to following the commands of the Torah than idolatry. Be careful, then, to do as the Lord your God has commanded you, the Pasuk says. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Follow only the path that the Lord your God has enjoined upon you, so that you may thrive and that it may go well with you, and that you may long endure in the land you are to possess. Another Pasuk that talks about the commands and the path, you shall carry out the verdict that is announced to you from the place that the Lord chose, observing scrupulously all their instructions for you. You shall act in accordance with the instructions given to you and the ruling handed down to you. You must not deviate from the verdict that they announced to you, either to the right or to the left. How do we explain? There are two paths discussed in Devarim. The Jewish people are warned to stay on the path of monotheism, serving God and nothing else. Worshiping other gods would be deviating from this first path. But there's a second path. This one is the one of the mitzvot. Not observing commands would be deviating from this path. The path of monotheism represents our commitment to God, and the second path represents our commitment to following God's directions for the Jewish people. It is only with both paths that a Jew can succeed. What a powerful message from this week's Torah portion. Shabbat Shalom.